This is the Joby Wavo Plus, a brand new on-camera shotgun microphone that has a few really unique features. But these features come at a price, as this microphone retails for £189.95 here in the UK, which I think is pretty expensive for an on-camera microphone aimed at content creators, especially as you have brands like Rode selling microphones from between £50 and £100. That being said, the Joby Wavo Plus has some pro-level features that may justify this price. I'm actually using the Joby Wavo Plus right now, it's plugged into my Sony a7 IV and I have it on a boom arm and I'll explain a little bit more about that later. I've also added a few effects to this microphone to make it sound a little bit better, but later on we'll take those off so you can hear how this microphone sounds directly into the camera with no editing at all. Quick disclaimer, Joby did send me this product to review for free, but they've not asked to see this video before it goes live and they've had no input in this video's creation. So before we go into this product's build quality, let's take a look at what you get inside the box. You get the microphone, which comes with a foam windshield, a TRS to TRS camera cable, a TRS to TRRS smartphone cable, a 1.5 meter USB Type-C to Type-C cable, and a 1.5 meter USB Type-C to Type-A cable. And you also get a thread adapter so you can mount this microphone on different boom arms and things like that. Now, although you do get a smartphone cable for this, as we all know, most smartphones in 2023 have a USB-C port, and unfortunately you don't get a 3.5mm to USB-C adapter in the box, so you will have to buy that if you're planning on using this with your smartphone. Looking at the overall build quality of this microphone, it's made mostly of ABS plastic, which I think is fine, but at this price point I would have liked to have seen maybe some metal elements, as it does feel a little bit cheap. Being made entirely of plastic does have its advantages though, as this microphone weighs only 63 grams, so you're not even going to realise that this is on your camera. Given that this is a Joby product, we do get the classic red and black colour scheme, which I think looks fine and it's not too in your face. We do also get a shock mount, and this will help reduce handling and movement noise. In terms of pickup pattern, this microphone is a super cardioid, which means it's slightly narrower than cardioid, and that will help reduce background noise as it has more side rejection, which means that this is perfect for picking up your voice and things directly in front of it. So let's go through some of the key features on this product. The first feature I really want to talk about is the headphone out port. Now this is something I've never seen on a microphone before. Now I'm sure this exists, but I've never really seen it. This is a great feature for people that have a camera that doesn't have a headphone out port, because if you want to monitor your audio levels and you don't have a headphone port, then there's no way to do that. And the fact that you've actually got one on the microphone is great. It means that if your camera doesn't have a headphone out port, then you don't need to worry and you can just monitor the levels directly from the microphone itself. The only time I can really see this being an issue is if your camera has some kind of internal processing that this will kind of bypass because you won't be hearing the camera output, you'll be hearing the microphone output. But I think for most people, this is going to be a really useful feature. And if you want to increase or decrease the headphone volume, you can do that by adjusting this dial on the back. One feature that I absolutely love on this microphone that I think all microphones should have is the safe track feature. So right now I'm recording on a stereo track. So both left and right are recording at the same volume. But if I flick a switch on the microphone, I can actually record one track at full volume and one track at minus 10 dB. Now this is a great feature because if you're in a situation where you can't fully control the audio and you don't know if things are going to get suddenly loud, then you can have that minus 10 dB track to rely on. Another feature you get is the high pass filter, again a switch on the microphone. Turning this on will basically reduce all the frequencies under 100 Hz. They're usually loud things and bassy things like cars going past, the wind, things like that, whereas our voice usually sits above 100 Hz, which means means you should get a crisper, clear voice if you turn the high pass filter on. Although in my personal experience, I do find that activating a high pass filter can make the audio sound a little bit tinny, especially if you have a deeper voice in the lower frequencies. You also have a gain switch on the microphone, so you can change the gain between minus 10 dB, 0 dB, and plus 15 dB. And I'm recording this at around minus 12 dB, which is a general sort of rule of thumb when it comes to audio recording, to try and be at around minus 12. One issue that I do have with this microphone is the fact that all of the switches and buttons and controls are on the microphone itself, which means that if you want to change any settings during recording, you're going to risk some unwanted handling noise. When it comes to battery life, Joby states that this has around 30 hours, but one of the best features on this microphone is the fact that it actually auto powers on and off with your camera. Pretty self-explanatory, but this is a fantastic feature. I don't know how many times throughout my videography career I've used a microphone on top of my camera, totally forgotten to turn it off when I turn the camera off, and when I come back to it, it's completely drained of battery. That is something that I think has plagued videographers for years, and features like this with the auto on and off 
are so welcomed. It's a feature I wish all microphones had. This microphone does have power indicators on the front and back. On the front you get a green LED and on the back it's a white LED. I must say though when filming outside I found the white LED really difficult to see but obviously you'll be able to see if there's audio levels on your camera and that the microphone is actually working. What's really nice about this microphone is that that LED at the front will change if the battery life starts to deplete. So if you're around 100 to 30 percent it'll be green, 30 to 10 percent it goes orange and then 10 and 0 percent it goes red. The last feature of this product is the fact that you can actually plug this into your PC or Mac and use it as a USB microphone. But I actually had some issues with this. Plugged into my Mac, it worked for like a second and then it stopped working and I don't know why and when it did record it had this sort of hum in the background. Plugged into my PC, it does work fine though, but again I still get that slight hum. Here's a clip of the Joby Wavo Plus plugged into my PC, so you can hear how it sounds. So here is a quick audio test on the Joby Wavo Plus plugged into my PC. So as I mentioned, there is a slight sort of humming noise, and I'll let you just hear that now. I would have also done a test on my MacBook Air, but as I said, it didn't work after the first use. I don't know why, I have reached out to Joby, and if they let me know, you know, what's going on, or if I fix it, I'll let you know down in the comments. So this was the Joby Wavo Plus plugged into my PC, what do you think? As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I have added some effects to this microphone to make it sound a little bit better, so let's strip those off now. So this is the raw audio directly into the camera, no effects added at all. I also mentioned that I have it on a boom arm, and the reason for that is because, quite frankly, the distance I am from the camera, if I had the microphone on top of the camera, the audio would not be that good. With this kind of shotgun microphone, you want to get as close to the microphone as possible. I would say right now I'm about 20 to 25 centimeters away from the mic, which even that is a bit far, but it should be good enough for this. I also did some outdoor tests with this microphone, so let's take a look at those. So this is the kind of audio you can expect from the Joby Wavo Plus microphone when using it outdoors. I'm currently around arm's length away from the camera. I'm using the 24mm lens on the Sony a7 IV. How does this sound? There is a road over there with a bunch of cars going past, so I can imagine that's quite loud. Birds as well, so lots of extra background noise other than my voice. In a second we will test this with the high pass filter and see if that helps in any way, but currently this is like the default setting. One concern I do have about this microphone though is the fact that it only comes with a foam windshield. There's no dead cat available from Joby or even a third party made specifically for this microphone. So if you're looking to film in more windy environments, I'm not sure how well this will hold up. So I've now turned on the high pass filter and that should help to remove some of the noises below 100 hertz in terms of frequency. So cars, things like that, the wind that makes kind of rumbly noise, it should help to remove those. Does this clip sound any better than the previous one though? I'm not gonna know until I go into the edit and hear them back to back, but let me know in the comments, is the high pass filter audio better or worse than the previous clip? So the last test that I'm going to do with the Joby Wavo Plus is a distance test. Now this is mainly if you're planning to use this in a studio setting or something like that, or even if you're filming outside and you're going to be far away from your subject. As I've said before in this video, you want to be as close as possible to this kind of microphone, otherwise it's not going to sound that good. This kind of distance, to be honest, is already pushing it, but let's go a little bit further and see how much of a difference it makes. So now I'm around two meters away from the camera and the microphone. My guess is this isn't going to sound that good and to be honest you don't really ever want to be this far away from a shotgun microphone but for those of you that are planning to use this hopefully it will give you an idea of how far you can really stretch it. And now I'm about four meters away from the camera. You would never want to use a shotgun microphone like this, this is ridiculous but hopefully again it will kind of exaggerate how bad this sounds the further away you get from it. So as I said if you're planning to get this microphone try and stay as close as possible. So how does this microphone sound? From my test so far, I'm pretty happy with it and I do think it sounds very good. That being said, I don't know if it's really worth that £190 price point when there's other microphones that are so much cheaper than this that will undoubtedly deliver very similar results. But a lot of those microphones don't have the pro features that this has, such as the safe track recording, auto power on and off, and all of those things that will make your recording experience a lot easier. Personally, I'd spend the extra to get the safe track recording and the auto power on and off. It's just peace of mind for me and it makes my life a lot easier. So that's it for my review of the Joby Wavo Plus. Hopefully you have found this useful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, it really helps out my channel. Leave a comment down below as well. What microphone are you using at the moment? Does this sound like a good microphone? Let me know down below. If you want to see more from me, subscribe, hit that bell icon, all of that good stuff, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.